Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. The last grocery haul of 2023. How crazy is that? I can't believe this year is over. I will say I'm very excited for the new year. You will be seeing my vision board goals for 2024 and 2023 goals recap video tomorrow. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on so you don't miss it. Down in the description box, I will link nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss, definitely have them done for the new year. This is how you're going to reach your goals and keep the weight off. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. And as a reminder, I have group coaching starting up in about a week. So if you really want to kick off the new year right, come join us for group coaching. There is a community post here on YouTube with all of the details of group coaching. It's also in my Facebook group and you can message me directly if you have questions, but we would love to have you join us. It's really going to be a great piece of accountability and helping you to reach your goals. Links and discounts to my favorite things as well as my Facebook group. Come join us there. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's head on into the kitchen for this week's grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for this week. I went to both Sprouts and Walmart. What you don't see is a case of water, case of Diet Coke, and some Gatorade Zero. Starting with Sprouts, they had these Reval Greens, which I actually really like Reval Greens. This is the Organic Greenhouse Caesar Salad Kit. These are manager special for 99 cents. So I grabbed two of those so that we can have Caesar salad for lunch. I'll show you what protein I'm going to put on the Caesar salad. So that was an incredible deal. And then I did grab a couple of my favorite waters. I'm actually drinking one right now. This is the Roar water. It has electrolytes in it. I really, really like this, especially post-workout. They had some really good deals on their grass-fed meat. So I picked up this steak, normally $15.46 for $10. So I thought that we could have that on our Blackstone grill or use it in a recipe. Grabbed a couple more rows. Again, killer deal, $15.71 for $10.21. And then $15.03 for $9.77. I just throw these in my freezer and we love a good pot roast in the crock pot. And then they had these holiday limited edition seasonal flavor one bars, 20 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, marshmallow hot cocoa flavor, 99 cents. So I only grabbed one. They're 210 calories and they have 20 grams of protein. I wasn't sure if I liked one bars. I couldn't remember. I know I've tried them in the past, but I don't know that I liked them. So I only picked up one if I like if I do really like it, I may grab a couple more if they're still only 99 cents. And then I did grab some crystallized ginger. I actually need this for a recipe. A couple of sweet potatoes for my breakfast meal prep. A spaghetti squash for a dinner recipe that you guys will see in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Stay tuned after the grocery haul for my meal plan and what's for dinner. I'm super excited for this recipe. And then they had their cantaloupe chunks on clearance for $3. When I got home, Troy was like, ooh, cantaloupe. So he was really excited about that. If I buy a whole cantaloupe, it'll sit on the counter and rot. If I chop it up, he'll eat it. So listen, we're going to buy chopped up cantaloupe, make our life easy, and it will get eaten. So that is everything from Sprouts. Now moving over to Walmart, I had to grab some light corn syrup. I made a mixed nut bar for my boot camp 5k yesterday. We always bring a snack, so I needed corn syrup for that. And then I'm all out of flour from Christmas baking, and I still need flour for other baking, so I grabbed the Great Value All-Purpose Unbleached Flour. I needed some more parchment paper. I can't believe how expensive parchment paper, foil, saran wrap is. It's insane. So I grabbed these cooking sheets because they're already cut, ready to go. I think I'm going to check Costco for foil, saran wrap, and parchment next time I'm there. I'll probably be heading to Costco maybe next week for a stock up haul and I need to pick up my TurboTax and a few other things from Costco. So I'm going to check their prices there. I think this was $4, which is crazy to me. I grabbed some of the large large La Banderita carb counter tortillas for enchiladas this week, as well as some reduced fat Fiesta blend cheese. I saw these in the bakery section and I thought these would be great for Troy for a little snack. These are ooey gooey butter bars. They sound absolutely incredible. They were $3.15. I think he'll like having that as a sweet treat. 
And I did find some reduced meat. I was pretty dang excited about this. This is 96 four ground beef, $11.68 for 2.25 pounds. Also a really good deal. I'm just going to throw that in the freezer. I picked up the Daisy French onion dip for Troy. This is his very favorite dip. And then I needed Parmesan cheese for my lunch meal prep. And then we always just have Parmesan cheese on hand. Light sour cream. Again, you know, we always, always have sour cream. I've been making these little Mexican bowls. So we've been going through some sour cream. And then for the enchiladas, I grabbed a can of organic black beans and then a really big can of mild enchilada sauce. Some chicken broth for a recipe, two gallons of 1% milk for Troy. He goes through a couple gallons of milk every single week. And then I'm excited to finally try these. I've heard really good things about these. These are the real good lightly breaded chicken nuggets, 23 grams of protein. So I'm going to have these topping the... Caesar salad. So I'm going to do the grilled nuggets, throw them in my air fryer and put them on the Caesar salad kit. So I'm excited for these. I think Sam's and Costco might sell these. So if I like them, I'll pick up the big bag. I want to say this was about $7. And then I did grab some kale for a recipe, actually my breakfast meal prep. And then for the week, I picked up some blueberries. So that is everything for the week. Let's jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for the week. So today, Saturday is out for dinner. Tomorrow, I'm actually making salads for dinner. Monday, I'm doing a chicken Alfredo spaghetti squash. You guys will actually see this in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. Tuesday's leftovers, Wednesday's enchiladas, and then Thursday and Friday, we'll do leftovers as well to finish up everything from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I am back to meal prepping for the new year, and I'm so excited. So for breakfast, I'm making a roasted sweet potato frittata. For lunch, we're doing Parmesan crusted tilapia, roasted potatoes and a veg and then for dessert I'm making gingerbread biscotti I have to carry on the holidays just a little bit more with one more gingerbread dessert so stay tuned for all three recipes on Monday thank you for joining me for another weekly grocery haul I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I picked up for the week I am set up for success to finish out 2023 and to go into 2024 strong again don't forget I am uploading my 2024 goals video and vision board tomorrow. So subscribe, turn your bell on so you don't miss it and any future 2024 content. Of course, down in the description box, again, I will link nutrition coaching, highly recommend one-on-one, -on -one, highly recommend personal macros, and I have one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching, as well as links and discounts to my favorite things. And come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.